Students get this problem wrong because they are rushing and don't understand what the question is asking. So they will come in and rewrite this problem in the same exact order, and then they will subtract. If you set it up like this, this is going to be wrong because we're subtracting 6x squared from the 4x squared expression. That is not what they ask us to do. So we just need to rewrite it with the 6x squared expression coming first. And the reason why I like writing it on top of each other is because sometimes it's easier to kind of see what you're actually adding and subtracting. So 6 minus 4 is going to give us 2x squared. 4 minus a negative 7, that turns into addition, so this is 11x. And 9 minus 3, or negative 9 minus 3, is just going to give us a negative 12. So just be mindful with these type of problems and make sure that you set them up correctly.